Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Reassembly. It's great to have you all here today. So let's go ahead and start. Get back down here, play old Farmer Bob. So between last episode and this episode, I worked on a new ship. You're seeing it right here. This is the uh, Vegetable Cruiser. Really digging the name. It's uh, totally vegetably and stuff. We got a couple ships in our fleet. Another Vegetable Cruiser. Let's take a look at the build real quick here so I can show you guys. Uh, I'm still experimenting a lot with the farmers. I'm finding they're... They have a lot of diversity, but they sure are weak in, like, lots of different categories. Especially thrusters. Uh, weapons are okay. They're... Like, they have a long range. For instance, I'm using these HC3 projectile weapons. And check it out. They have a range of 3200 with 1200 velocity. Uh, turret speed's okay on them. It's not that bad. But even with these and a myriad of the MC3 projectile shooters, it just... it's It feels subpar. I don't, I don't know a better way to describe it. Uh, so anyways, here's this build I worked on called the Vegetable Cruiser. It's currently taking up 1600 out of 2600 P. I just recently upgraded a bunch. So here's something cool. The farmers get something called solar panels. And check this out. Whenever you pop these on your ship, you gain passive R generation. So 0.2 per second. So between these four, we're getting 0.8 R per second for free. Like we, we just get it for free. And solar panels also allow for our capacity increase, so each one gives 400 more capacity. It's actually quite cool. In fact, all of their blocks even, if you look at the normal blocks, um, not only do you get on some of these uh, the normal health, but some of them, like the adapter, actually has R capacity. So everywhere I'm using these little adapters, we're getting like 50 more R. It's really cool. So there's that ship I worked on. What I also did in the meantime is I, I unlocked just a plethora of parts. You can see we don't have many left to unlock. We've got these three really big ones right here, actually. These are all three huge parts. Can't wait to play around with those. And then we've also got these two down here. Station defense laser and the station battery. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the shield, the bigger shield. I want to get that. Right now, this is the uh, I've only got the medium shield unlocked. and it's, it's not bad. Definitely not as strong as the humans, for sure. So that's what we've got going on there. So one of the things I wanted to do was take our little vegetable cruiser and here's the map. So I have essentially explored this far. We've gooched our way this far into space. It's fantastic. Uh, what I wanted to do was, no, was work on a small ship for our vegetable cruiser here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to switch over to the, this one has, it's the same as this, the one we're flying, but it has factories on it. And I want to work on a new ship, just something really tiny that we can spawn in that maybe has like a powerful weapon. So let's do that. I figure we'll just build this one ourselves. Just rock this baby out. Do my classic, uh, you know, pop these little snoogs on here. Can't help it. This is just a great way to go. We're going to call this... Let's see. This is going to be the bean sprout. I don't know why I'm naming everything. Like, <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Okay, so on the bean sprout, we're going to want... You know, I don't even know if we're going to need a generator. Let's see. By default, what do we have? 100 energy a second, 300 stored. I want to put something crazy on there. A good laser. Like this. The Arcus PRP-3. Look at the description. Need to burn through a battleship without breaking a sweat? Try this. It's a beam weapon. 800 range. Th I mean, this sounds amazing. Oh, sweet Jesus. On a crack pipe. Um, That is the best place to be on a crack pipe, by the way. I found that out. Let's try this. Booyah kasha! And then maybe we could like pop some Kranas in there. Maybe? Ooh! That kind of fits. Hang on, we got this. Oh, this music right now, it's just, it's getting me all sleepy. Sleepy music. <laughs> Get the mount in there, check this out! No? I love when you can fit all the pieces together. This is when it feels right. Oh, baby! Okay, where the, the bean sprout is at 87p. So let's see what this takes. This takes 17 energy a second. Our command module gives us 100 a second. Oh, easy peasy. We don't even need... We can just do this with some jets. Are you kidding me? Some jets, some thrusters. Okay, uh, we got to get an adapter on here. Let's increase the old size. Wait. No. Reverse it. Boom. Like that. And then we can thrust it. I want this thing to be kind of fast, you know? I'm thinking like two there. We'll do like uh, one on the sides. And let's see, we need to be able to stop, right? Show, I'm gonna show you to show. Yeah, look at this. This looks 
Um, I don't know what to think about this. Alright, let's go with it. Save. Okay, now we're gonna add the bean sprout to the vegetable cruiser spawn list. Let me see something here. Okay. Boop! There we go. Alright, let's do this. So, I need to wait for the factories to grow on here. And we need to get some R. We need to get some resources. So, we gotta be careful. Look at this. We got a, uh... Oh, you know what? Look at this. This is an agent coming after us. It's only worth 1400p with four ships. I think we could actually take this. Let's try. We do have... We do have a, another vegetable cruiser in our fleet. There's one growing right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We need 89 more R. Excellent. Here we go. Let's go to uh, semi-minimal HUD here. Get some of the tutorial stuff off there. You gotta be careful around these. Okay, here's here he is. That looks like way more than four ships, my friends. Can we do this? Let's get to the shooting. Okay, why is my ship not shooting? Hang on. What is going on? Why is this not firing that much? There we go. We're firing a little bit. There we go. Take some of them out. We gotta be careful. These guys eat into us. Look how quickly they eat into us. Oh, look, we're out of energy. I didn't realize. Alright, let's start. Uh, we're... So I'm spawning some ships right now. Let's get some going. I can't wait to see these little guys. So they should have lasers with decent range. You know, oh, we are almost dead. No, 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 I don't want to die. No, I don't want to die. Looks like it's going to happen. We're almost dead, and we are about to explode. There we go. Oh, that wasn't working out so well. We got uh, stuck in a predict there. Oh, come on, really? This is where he spawned me? Right next to this guy's fleet? These little ships are crazy. They're not worth a ton. They're not uh, crazy powerful. Well, they kind of are, actually. I mean, we're getting wrecked. These Wow, these beams are intense. Okay, we got to regroup and come at this with a fleet. Here we go. Respawn me. We need a better ship. Like the... the oh, here we go. All right, we'll get some resources from this guy. And we will start to build our fleets. I know we can take this guy out. I've tried it before. Here we go. We can get one, two, three, four, five ships in the fleet. All right, let's get this going. We gotta, we gotta get this uh, stacking up, you know. Get these little guys. Come on, like they're all stuck against me and stuff. Okay, I, I kind of dig their lasers. I'd like to keep that going, Pre. Please get off my ship. That's one thing that drives me nuts. Like when they get on your ship, they get stuck on your ship, and it's, it's insanity. Oh yeah, I'm gonna like this. Look at these little lasers. This is working great. This is working great. Now we just got to, uh, we got to collect the resources. That's what we have to do now. Uh, I am already wading into this guy's, like, his ships and stuff. I need to be very careful. Wow, we got a thousand credits. Oh, so we just wiped out his fleet. There we go. And uh, one of the other, oh, crap. Hang on. Got to get my, there we go. If you press the R key, you can change your control mechanism, which is kind of cool. But I'm going to get a bunch more ships in our fleet right now. You can see, every time we see that negative number, I'm spawning. Uh, we have 13 ships, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go exploring. We got ourselves a contested station down here. We could go scope out. I want to build a huge solar panel ship. All it does is collect solar panels. Like, that's what I wanted to do. See? Come on. Where are my fleet ships? Get over here! I, I thought I made them pretty fast. I don't know. Maybe not. Here they come. Here they come. Come on, guys. Get over there. Why is it just me? Start shooting. We need so many more. Yeah, we're going to get... Oh, we're going to get so wrecked from these guys. Look at them tearing us to bits. All right, we... We need to... Hmm. We need some changes here. Big time. This ship is no good. Like, these weapon systems are terrible. Oh, they're so bad. These MC, these, these HC3 weapons are just awful. Maybe I should go with the beam stuff. Let's see, how much money do we have? 1,200. What can we unlock, maybe? None of this. Explosive rounds. The longbow sounds kind of cool. It's not on the turret, though. Look at the range. 5,000. Wow. You know, one thing I'll try. Before I say this is awful, I'm going to take all of this off of auto fire. I'm going to make all of this my left left mouse. 
Even these little guys. Everything is going to be left mouse. All right, we'll try to do some manual controlling here. I think that's what I'll try. So you guys give me just a bit here. I'm going to go around and try to collect some resources, and then we'll rendezvous back. Well, we have a small fleet going with us right now, so I've made quite a few changes to our ship here. Here's what I did. I've died between that, that quick transition there for you guys. I've died probably 12 times. Um, one of the enemies shoots these really tiny little uh, little drones. Like, you can't target them. I guess I need uh, I need defense. Let me see here. Hang on. A anyways, I was going to say, those little tiny drones pretty much can kill this whole ship. You know, they're worth like 1p. And they come and just wreck me. Let's get these guys over to point defense. These little tiny MLS Avengers. I'm pretty sure that's what they're for. Let me look. Wherever it is. Here it is. Very high rate of fire. Medium range. Let's see the range on these if I mouse over them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll try that this time. It, I mean, it was crazy. I was dying from all sorts of stuff. Like, even these little tiny guys. Woo! Man, they just would wreck me. It's crazy. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We got nine ships in the fleet. So, I don't know. I, the farmers feel their armor is so weak, it is crazy. Uh, either that or I'm just, you know, I need to build better. Maybe that's what could be going on there. Let's get a couple more ships in the old fleet here, if they aren't already. And we're just going to go down here. In fact, let's see, what agent is this? Here we go. 844p. I bet we could handle this. Maybe. Scrote's famous last words, as they never defeated a ship again. All right, we got nine ships in the fleet. Now we got ten. Maybe. There we go. Ten ships. Uh, looks like half our ships are really hurt. <laughs> That's so funny. Let's just get a bunch of these guys. Or I dismissed a bunch. I don't know what was going on there. I'm having that problem again where I can't... Ooh. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? You're dead. I'll take your resources. Come on, vegetable cruiser. You know, this is what it is, though. We're living the dream here. As, uh, let's see, energy? Yeah, not a problem. We're able to sustain energy really well. I don't think there's a point to killing these. You can see their command module way down here. We're just, like, essentially going straight into it. Yeah, not... Oh, shoot! Get him! Oh, my goodness. Oh, I like these lasers a lot more, though. I like these lasers a bunch more. You know, it's like instant hit. I don't have to worry like that. It just targets them. Boom. Definitely added a little uh, oomph to the ship here. This is really a, a pretty diverse ship, though. It's got a little bit of everything on it. And, you know, it's not meant to be, like, powerful in any one area. I guess is what I'm getting at. Yeah, see these little guys right here? Yeah, I need... Okay. Sweet. Look at that. Point defense. Totally working. All right, that was my bad. I just needed some point defense. We are down to eight ships, though. Like, we, we really lose them quick, I noticed. They're they're so defenseless. And these guys' lasers are so direct. I mean, I guess we could pop. Pop a squat, you know? What ching Just pop a sweet little squat. So we're coming up to the agent here. You can see him. He's these red, pinky-looking ships. Now, we're probably going to die here. Let's not kid around with ourselves. Like, let's try this guy. He's got, like, a, a million shields. He's dead. You're dead. Let's keep it going. How about you? Oh, look at all these. We need a lot of point defense for this. We need a ton of point defense if we want to... If we want to be able to conquer this guy. He looks like he's drone heavy. Which one of the ships is the master ship? <laughs> I don't know why I'm still going. Oh, no. Oh, lordy. Oh, man. Whew. I need to... I need to... What I need to do is focus on a sweet, sweet build. Okay, let's try this real quick. Instead of going for combat, what I want to try to build is a solar panel ship. Just something to hold a ton of solar panels and uh, just collect us a bunch of resources. So y'all hang tight again. I'm going to I'm gonna work on this. Okay, so here is what I was working on. Built a new ship called the Potato Collector. I figure we need to get some resources, and we need to get some credits so we can, so we can unlock the more powerful weapons. And also so we can have a ship that just, you know, travels around our sectors of space, and will spawn in ships for us. So we have, ooh, two factories here. Hang on. Can't have these. We need to have space for the factories to spawn, so that, that'll have to be uh, an empty location there. But this has no weapons on it. It is a completely defenseless ship. It is 
as I said, the potato collector. So let's give this a try. I want to try the potato collector out. Let's get our ships down here. I like keeping our ships uh, down here, like separate from the, the ones that ship with the game. All right, here we go. Hopefully the agent doesn't catch up to us. That would be a huge bummer right now. We definitely want to see the potato collector. I think we have enough solar panels on here to generate uh, something like four resources per second. So that could be pretty awesome. You know, it would take what, like three or four minutes to generate a thousand or so maybe? I don't know, we'll find out. You can look at our R at the left-hand side of the screen. We have eight R right now. Uh, now we have 10. Resource collectors are starting to spawn in here. Let's see, that I make this baby fast enough? Let's find out. I was thinking too, we, what the, oh, we could use this just as our spawn ship, right? Um, no defenses, we can't fight, but we could spawn in a bunch of ships. Although, I have this huge problem. For some reason, people say they don't have it, but uh, every time I spawn ships in in a fleet, they're, they always essentially are behind my ship. Like, no matter where I go, my ship always has to be the first one into battle. Oh no! Oh, we're gonna be screwed. Get me out of here. I want to get away from this guy. How are we doing? Look at that. Look at our resources just going up. 130. 135. That's so sweet. That is epic. So here's what I was thinking on our uh, bean sprout here. What it needs is a shield. Can we put a... It's gonna, it's gonna make it a lot more expensive. We can get the weaker shields. Like this. How much are these? 33p. So that's 66p for 600 shield health. And we are talking 80p for a thousand. Okay. So you pay a little bit more p, but you get a bigger bonus. All right. We'll just stick with this. Keeps it a little bit cheaper anyways. Uh, I feel like it's just not fast enough. Like it just never. Oh, baby. I was using the smaller thruster. Yeah. 80k. We were probably using these. 40k. Oh, yeah. Squeech.nerd equals true. I want uber. Uber thruster power. All right, save. Okay, potato collector. So, yeah, that's that's what I wanted to do. Now we got a little collector. Looks kind of cool when all the thrusters get going. It's pretty neat. And, like, I mean, technically, we could just come over here and, like, stay near a factory once I position our uh, guy over here, if I can get him. It's kind of hard with the weird mouse movement. There we go. Let's go this way. Yeah, we got to get the command module close to the station. Start dropping off. Oh, we can't because we have factories. Yeah, somebody said you could still drop off resources even though you have factories, but I looked online and you can't. Like, no, I could not find a way to drop resources off. If you have a factory, you just can't do it. Yeah, I just, I cannot... I can't get over here. It's like weird. Uh, let's try to get a little bit closer. One more time. Get the command module right on the back. Swivel the butt around. Get the butt into the thing. Okay, butt on butt action. Can't recruit a station. Yeah, I'll have to take the factories out if I actually want to earn money from this. But like, you could sit here and do something like this. Watch. You could come in here to your potato collector. Remove your factories. Chill near the station. We should start dropping resources off here. There we go. Just like this. And, uh, yeah. You could just, like, sit here and indefinitely drop stuff off. Like, just go AFK or whatever. You know? I'm, I don't condone the AFKness, but I'm saying it could be a tactic. Although, you'd have to really be careful. Like, enemies will come around here and agents will come up to you. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stop this episode here. We're rocking out with the farmer faction. We're, we've made some progress. We saw the vegetable cruiser. We saw the bean sprout. We saw the potato collector. All of our farming accoutrements are coming together, and it's going to be amazing. So I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. We're going to continue. Hopefully, I want to build something bigger. Uh, we have 2400C. I want to try to get up to around 4000P. And if I can, then I'll work on building a bigger ship. And we just unlocked the MGVD-4 Bolshevik. Fires numerous but slow explosive rounds akin to a grenade launcher. All of these three weapons right here, I think, are going to be our saving grace with these guys. Maybe this missile launcher. Look at this. Really big missile, the HM-1. Could be really cool. Anyways, I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. If you have any suggestions or thoughts or things you want to try, uh, have me try out building-wise and whatnot, just let me know. I'm all open to that kind of thing. And until then, ladies and gentlemen, hope you all have an absolutely great day. Take it easy and stay classy. 
go, go, potato farmer, yeah, potato farmer. Farming potatoes all day long. This is the end of the episode song. Singing about my potatoes all day long. It's really great, you see. Get off me, fool. I am still recording. Holy crap.